So yesterday I asked for some help in order to get my TA portal to work with my PLC SIM. I kept trying and trying and trying all different types of things, but I could not get it to work. Uh, and I finally got it to work. And really what it really took was just updating each of those programs. So it took hours of uh, updating because my internet is as slow as molasses. Uh, but it did work eventually. And uh, the feeling once it finally works is just, it just feels so good. You're like, oh, it finally works. But then you're sitting there, you're like, but I have no idea why it actually works. It just works. It's magic. <clears throat> so let me show you how, how I got her to, to work. Give me two seconds and I'll bring up the TA portal. Okay, so initially what I did was, uh, it obviously wasn't working. So I went up here to help. I left click on help and I go down to installed software. So left click on that guy again. And you can see here now I'm at version 14 SP1 update 6. And I'm at the same for everything. So I, one thing you have to make sure is that uh, all your different uh, updates are updated to the same uh, version. So what I did was I came over here initially and went to check for updates. So I'm left clicking on this guy. Okay, that brings up this menu right here. And this takes me a while to check for the updates. But it initially gave me the updates for uh, TA portal, for PLC SIM, and then something else for networking of uh, a number of people in the same same thing. So uh, there are different support packages as well. So here you'll have a massive list of things. But what I did was I just went to software and I downloaded, you saw in the, the previous video, I downloaded the TA portal update and I downloaded the PLC SIM update as well. Okay, once I did that, then I don't believe it was working. So I did a little bit of looking on the internet and my main thing that I go to is uh, supportindustrysiemens.com. And so here it says updates for PLC SIM uh, version 14 SP1. And again, some of you guys said just use version 15. Um, I would do that, but I'm a little bit nervous because I want to make sure I, I still want to keep going with my videos. Uh, I'm nervous that if I update to vi version 15, then I'm going to have all kinds of issues and I won't have the know-how to uh, to fix it. But I will be updating to version 15 very soon. So, But here it says that um, there are improvements compared to earlier versions. Uh, S7 PLC SIM version 14 SP1 update 1 allows you to install the yada 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 SP1 without first uninstalling the previous version of your S7 PLC SIM. So initially I was trying to uninstall and reinstall because that's what everybody was saying on the internet. Um, with this update right here, so I downloaded um, this guy right here, it will be able to update your PLC SIM version 14 SP1 without you having to go into Windows and eliminating it from your computer. So I was, uh, I was able to do the updates here Right, so again, you can see how slow my internet is. Um, so I did the two updates for PLC SIM and for uh, TA Portal. Then it still wasn't working, so I went here. I downloaded this bad boy right here. I'll put the link in the comment section below. Uh, and once I installed this guy, then everything was rocking, and I was able to simulate everything. So <clears throat> let's close this guy up. And I'm going to get rid of this guy because everything's working. So once you've got everything installed, then all I did was I opened up my TA portal. Again, on my device configuration, I just chose the same PLC as I've had before. So I have the, the CPU 1212C ACDC relay. Um, and if you want to drop this guy in, you can go to the hardware catalog, go to your CPU, find your specific PLC, and then you can drag this guy. And specifically, I have this one right here. So I dragged it over to this window right here, and I was able to bring up that PLC. So everything was set up there. I didn't have to do anything else, I don't believe. Um, so if I go back to my main OB1, then all I need to do is go here to uh, online, simulation, and start. It's as easy as that. I don't have to go in and change anything else. Um, so online simulation and start. It says starting simulation will disable all other online interfaces. Sure. Okay, it's compiling it now. Okay, this is what I had before that it was ready for loading, but then it gave me that error message. If I hit load now, 
Ah, yes, this is what we're looking for. So, downloading to device completed without error. This is nice. And start modules after downloading to device. So, I'm going to hit start all and hit finish. Sweet. Okay. So, now you may be able to see that here it had, um, it didn't have any device there. Now it says CPU 1212C ACDC relay. So I'm in the run mode right now. So if I just go into monitoring mode, look at that. I got orange up here. I got green over here, ready to rock. And all you have to do here in order to simulate this is to right click on this guy. So here I have a number of different instructions here. So two wire, three wire timer, and then counter below. So let's look at the two wire right here. So I'm going to right click on this guy. Go to modify, modify this guy to a one, and my Q0.0 .0 should turn on. Oh, that's nice. Okay, then I'm gonna modify, bring it back to a zero, and my Q0.0 .0 should turn off. Sweet. Okay, let's try the uh, three wire here. So here would be our stop push button. So we're gonna modify this guy to a one, and you can see that the logic continuity is gonna go to my start push button now. And when I modify this guy to a one, then my output Q0.1 should turn on. Beauty. When I modify this guy back to a zero, meaning that I've let go of the push button for my start push button, then the logic continuity goes through the holding contact and goes to Q01. So you can see that these guys are linked just like they would be if we had the PLC actually running. Very cool. Okay, if I now modify my stop to a zero, then my Q0.1 should turn off. There we go. So a little bit of a lag, but not uh, not bad at all. Okay, let's try the timer now, guys. So I have an on delay timer here. I have uh, percent %m0.4, so I'm just using memory bits here. And this looks like, what have I set this at? Three seconds. So once I make this true, by mod modifying that to a one, you'll see that the timer starts to time out. And then after three seconds, my Q0.2 should turn on. So I'll modify this guy to a one. You can see this timing out to three seconds. And at that point, the timer times out and my Q0.2 has turned on. Beautiful, let's modify this guy back to a zero. At that point, this guy is no longer true. So the output turns off exactly the same as we saw, saw on our on delay timer video. Very nice. Okay, next one is a, a counter. So obviously we need to modify this guy to a one and it increments this guy up to a one. We'll modify this by back to a zero, back to a one, meaning that we've closed that switch. So this increments up to two. We'll modify this guy back to a zero and we'll modify it one more time. At that point, we'll have a count of three Beautiful, these guys are equal, so now my output turns on. And when I make this guy false again, modify back to a zero. Beautiful, and these guys are exactly the same values, right? So the output remains on. Very nice, now we've got a way that we can simulate all of our simple instructions. So, so far we've seen the two wire, the three wire, the timer and the counter. So all of our simple things can be easily simulated here with this PLC sim, uh, simulating something that's a little bit com convoluted, like if you have a really large uh, ladder diagram that you're going through with a large sequence of events, that might be a little bit harder in that you're trying to modify each thing. Um, but this is a great way to just take each rung and try, try out each part and make sure that everything works in the simulator. And it's an awesome way of learning the basic instructions as well if you don't have a physical PLC. All right, guys, hopefully these two videos have uh, helped out. Hopefully uh, you've been able to get yours working. Again, the main thing with me is that I just needed to update both the TIA portal and the PLC sim and make sure that they were both the same version. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.